Superstar. I don't know. I don't know. Welcome to another hour of All South Championship Wrestling. A great card on tap for you today. We'll be seeing the spoiler in action, along with the big Russian, Boris Zerkov. Tommy Rich will be here, and many more of your favorites right here on All South Championship Wrestling. Gentlemen, Jim Holiday, a big card on tap today. Absolutely, Bobby, and I'm proud to be here today. It's a pleasure to be with you, and I'm really looking forward to an exciting card today here. Great card, great action, brought to you by this, the First Lady in Professional Wrestling, Ann Gunkel. Thank you, Bob. We have an exciting roster today with lots of exciting matches. Now let's go to the action. And we got a big card on tap today. Before we throw it to the ring, Jim, you know, we've got things brewing around in All-South Championship Wrestling. This thing with Tommy Rich and Boris Zirkoff, it, it's got to come to a head somewhere. Absolutely, Bobby, and I just hope that I can be somewhere down the road when this happens because it'll be very exciting. I've seen a lot of action between these two already, and when the showdown comes, I want to be there. Me too. Another big thing that we've got going on around, and, and Ann, you're well aware of this, is this thing with Randy Rose and Nick Patrick. You know, Nick, we see him from time to time scouting Randy and, and doing different things. Uh, each match Nick's in the ring gets progressively better. Yes, you know, he was around his dad a long time, and he's being helped by Tommy Rich. He's working out, and he's observing all the matches, watching all the tapes, and he's coming along great. Right. Nick's dad was one time a great manager in this profession, and Nick will be telling us about that later on. Great Special action interview. here on All-South Championship Wrestling and live action coming your way in the local arenas. Tonight, Manchester, Georgia, 8.30 p.m., the City Gym, a big rematch on tap between Tommy Wildfire Rich and the big Russian Boris Zerkov. This Tuesday night, Buford, Georgia, at the Buford High School Gym. This Wednesday night, wrestling returns to Cumming, Georgia, at the North Forsyth Junior High School. And don't forget the big card returning to Henderson's Arena on Friday night, June the 21st. Want to call in Nick Patrick. Nick, tonight in Manchester, you're facing Randy Rose. That's right. I'll be against Randy Rose. I fought him there once before. I've been training real hard. I got some people with uh, Tommy Rich, the Oates brothers. They've been helping me out a lot. And I'm going to take it to you in Manchester, Randy Rose. Nick Patrick, tonight in Manchester. Tommy Rich, we're going on tour, but we're staying home. Somebody said somebody, fired up, Manchester, fired up. Because we are coming back. You know, last time I was there, I wrestled this big bat, Boris Zirkoff, the Russian. Since then, he's went out and he's got him a manager. Well, let me tell you something. That manager, Dandy Jack, or whatever you want to call your name, to me, you're the lowest form of life I've ever seen because he's from Russia. This is the USA, Jack. So you bring Dandy Jack down there, or Dandy Duty, or whatever his name is, you bring him to Manchester. Buford Cummins, I don't care. You want me, Zerkoff, you got me. Anywhere, anytime, any place. So what I'm telling you is, last time in Manchester, it got a little out of control. Well, it's going to get all the way out of control in Manchester Monday night. Great action here on All South Championship Wrestling, and I must admit today that I was very surprised. I've seen a lot of great competitors. But I was very surprised to see a gentleman in our audience today, and I've asked him to join me here. One of the greatest managers to ever come down the pike in the world of professional wrestling, Mr. Dandy Jack Crawford. Uh, he showed up today, didn't know he was going to be here, but I asked him to join me, and this big man, the big Russian, Boris Zirkov, has joined him, and we'll just turn it over and uh, ask him what's going on. Well, I'll tell you what's been going on. I've been around lurking in the corners of everywhere, watching for another man who could come up to the capabilities of the great Mongo, Tarzan Tyler, and a few of these people. Well, I finally found the ultimate, the ultimate in wrestling. This is a wrestling machine, not in the 20th century, not in the 21st. This man is way ahead of all of them. He is a machine. He operates like a well-oiled machine. And any time this man is in the ring, you can depend on one thing, number one wrestling performance because he doesn't know anything else. He doesn't know pain. He doesn't know any of these things. All he knows how to do is wrestle, and I am going to be the soft core to this computer with my great mind feeding into this physical body. There is nothing in the world we won't accomplish. And that goes for the Oates Brothers. That goes for uh, the Forest Fire, or whatever his name is. Tommy Ritz, that's right. The Wildfire. The guy that I had a lot of uh, 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 accomplished, but 
I have nothing for him anymore at all except plain disgust. The guy is harping on this man and this man alone, but I'm going to tell you something. If he doesn't shut his mouth, it'll be the last word he ever says about this man. Now that you can depend on. And you know what? It's been a pleasure today. Naturally yours. Dandy Jack Crawford making his presence felt on All South Championship Wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, our next match is a tag team match, one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Introducing in the corner to my right, from Knoxville, Tennessee, at 215 pounds, Danny Horn. And his partner from Dallas, Texas, at 225 pounds, Chris Jarvis. And their opponents, from Columbus, Georgia, at 225 pounds, Ted Oates. And his partner from Music City, USA, at 228 pounds, Tommy Wildfire Rich. And there you have the intros from ring announcer Bill Newman, Tommy Rich from Nashville, Ted Oates from Columbus, Georgia. Great southern flavor to Miss Gunkel's top attractions. And I don't know these two men they're wrestling, but I know they're newcomers trying to get ahead. And what a stepping stone this would be if Danny Horn was in there now and Chris Jarvis could manage a victory over Ted Oates and wildfire Tommy Rich. This is Ted, side headlock. He makes a quick tag. Good teams make quick tags. Elbow smash, snap there by wildfire. Wildfire mounts in popularity every time. Overhead shot. It's an interesting shot. You see the, the uh, side headlock being applied here by Tommy Wildfire Rich. Has his opponent on the mat and then creams him right across the throat. That old knee to the throat will do it. Comes back, gets a two count early. And again, Tommy has that reverse chin lock on one Mr. Danny Horn of Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, we got Tennessee, Texas, Tennessee again, and Georgia represented here in this match. While the wrestlers come from everywhere, while Miss Gunkel is planning for her southern tour, it's nice to have the South so well represented on all South Championship Wrestling. Now you can see Ted has been the aggressor each time he's been in there. And so far, Danny has yet to tag with his partner, Chris Jarvis. He might do well to, if possible, reach Chris before too long, because he's had the starch taken out of him early in the match by both Rich and Oates. And here Horn begins, begins to make his move. A couple of hard rights by Horn, a couple of tough knee smashes by Ted Oates. Horn goes back to the canvas. Ted keeps him in their part of the woods and tags with Wildfire, comes off that second rope and floors his man. So far, Chris Jarvis has been able just to observe things. He hasn't been into the fray at all. That reverse chin lock by Tommy. You know, Wildfire's been the most popular, I guess, Bobby, but there are a lot of them. Here's the tag, and finally, Chris Jarvis gets into the action. I think it, that was a necessary move if they were to survive at all, don't you? Yes, I do. Uh, Tommy and Ted had made several tags, and they had all been against Danny Horn. Uh, it's a good thing he made it to the corner. Fred, you know, you brought up something a few minutes ago about the tag team tournament that's in the making. Uh, Ms. Gunkel's trying now to put it together and finalize it. But uh, it's interesting to me that Ted Oates has strayed away from teaming with his brother. He's picked up Tommy Rich. Uh, we saw Randy Rose in the last match uh, going away from the firm of Rose, Summers, and Rose and picking up with a spoiler. Uh, these men are looking to find the best combination uh, so that when this tournament does come to be that uh, they'll have a chance to come out the winner. Yeah, I think different combinations make for more excitement for the fans. I don't think you can stick with the same. It's good to have a partner who knows you and you know them, but it sure is interesting sometimes to mix up the combinations and see what happens. Because wrestling starts out unpredictable, that makes it all the more fun. Here comes Chetto's arm bar. Oh, a real tough arm twist. And here that, you know Danny was counting on Jarvis, who suddenly got flipped to the mat with that arm bar. You know he was counting on him to kind of take some of the pressure off for a few seconds. But actually, in all fairness, this match has been all Ted Oates and Tommy Ridge so far. Another tag, wildfire back into the contest. A hard right to the midsection, off the ropes, and Jarvis is in trouble. Tommy coming down with that, with that hard right hand to the face, goes for the suplex and gets it. And Jarvis is being had right now. Gets a count of two, almost a pin, goes back to the reverse chin lock. And so Tommy Rich maintaining control, and Chris Jarvis 
and his partner Danny Horn are being taught a lesson or two in this tag team encounter on All South Championship Wrestling. Tommy makes the tag again, and here comes young Ted Oates. Ted and Jerry Oates, of course, the brother team combination from Columbus, Georgia. Man, I bet the home fans there would greet them warmly. Live action from Gunkel appearing all over the area. Hard right to the face. Who in another hard smash by Ted Oates. And Jarvis just trying to shake it off. Snap mare by Ted. Horn well rested now once the tag was made. Jarvis has stayed in there the rest of the time. And he has absorbed some punishment. Elbow smash across the throat. And when the referee said break it, Ted rolled right up, gets that reverse chin lock again. Ted decides he's had enough flack from Danny Horn. He goes over and just pops him one as he's standing there in the corner. Then comes back to take care of things with the man in the ring. Here comes Tommy Wildfire Rich. Side headlock. Has his man under control. Well, Horn and Jarvis, of course, not a formidable team in that they haven't worked together too long. But they'll learn something from this match, which will be to their advantage the next time they wrestle. You can bet on that. He's being double teamed now as Tommy. And here's Danny being tagged again and coming into it, throwing leather, throwing fist, pounding. But Rich comes right back. Hard rights of his own. Whips him across the rope. And a beautiful flying kick there, flying drop kick by Tommy Wildfire Rich. And goes for the body slam. Softens him up, makes the tag with Ted Oates. Comes off instead himself off that second rope, then makes the tag. Oh, he was out of camera shot there for a minute. Here's that DDT by Ted Oates. The DDT. Does he get it? Yes, the count of three. And the winners are Ted Oates and Wildfire. Tommy Rich will be back. Comes a time when there's business you have to take care of that's not too popular with the fans and it's not real fun to do. Uh, I'd like to make an announcement that due to the severeness of the battle between Boris Zerkoff and Scott the Hog Irwin, the board of directors of the All-South Wrestling Alliance have been forced to suspend both men for an indefinite period of time. Uh, that's for their own safety, we feel, and also for the safety of the fans because, uh, as you saw right here on the program, it got out of hand, it got out into the crowd, and we just felt like that was the best move we could make. One other thing that's not uh, a very pleasant chore that I have to do today, uh, last week, you fans here on All-South Championship Wrestling saw an incident involving Mr. Olympia, Nick Patrick, and the firm. Uh, Mr. Olympia came in from the outside carrying a board. Uh, whether he was right, wrong, or indifferent, we cannot tolerate this because we kind of have to look out for the safety of these wrestlers. A board has no place in a wrestling ring. Uh, we have been forced to fine Mr. Olympia $1,000. Uh, he has the option of uh, appealing this, paying the fine, or taking the suspension. It's up to him, whatever he wants to do. Well, of course, hard decisions are always having to be well, made. Nick Patrick is with us. I'd like to say that Mr. Olympia was fined for coming in and helping me. So, all right, right here's the $1,000. That's just fine right there, and I think it's the wisest money I've ever spent. So, that's not going to be the last money spent, probably not, because whether it takes chairs, boards, lights, fixtures, ring posts, whatever it takes, Randy Rose, I'm going to get you. We've got more to come, including Nick Patrick when All South Wrestling comes up right after this.